actually did. So I'm going to try to explain uh, what I ended up doing. So we were trying to search the array that we were getting here. Uh, this array is uh, is supposedly the sum. It's an array of the summation of all the analysis. So we were trying to search the 1D array for the numbers zero through nine. Those are the numbers in here. And then what we would do is split it and count the size of each. So basically we would find the first zero and then we would split it and get the uh, size of that. Uh, obviously the first one will always be zero. And then I subtracted one here because what I ended, what I found out was that if a number does not exist, or actually even a uh, if a number does not exist, I'm sorry guys, then what the system ends up doing is basically uh, not finding it, obviously. Um, the problem with that is that this did not work the way it should. Um, what I did here is I created an array with the numbers 0 through 9, and then what I ended up doing was adding those numbers into the array so that way I am guaranteed to have at least one of each of these in the system then after it processes I subtract one basically to get rid of that one extra that I, I artificially added in there and then I get the array size of the last number, the number 8, and put them into this uh, array, and then I deleted the first item. And uh, now that I'm looking in the, into this, I actually find myself... Well, I'm, I'm, I'm being silly. Here's the problem. Here's the other problem. The problem is that, first of all, we cannot, oh, when looking for zero, we're always going to find the first zero. And the first zero is always on position zero. So this, this here, we can change a couple things in it. Let's go ahead and add a plus one. To the iteration number here so that way the first thing you look for now is going to be the number one and this guarantees that there is a one uh, but we should not have to do this that way um, Yeah, we should not have to do this this way. So I believe that, well, by adding this plus one, we no longer need this. And by adding plus one, perhaps, we do not actually need that anymore either. Uh, nor this minus one. I believe we do not need this array size uh, either again. So let's go ahead and run this again and see if we get the same results. No. Uh, so the system, when we get to the number three, gets this problematic, uh, becomes problematic basically because it does not find the number three. Right, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and reconnect these as they were and try to run this again. There we go, it gives me a high card of negative one. That is the let's see, negative one. This one here is giving me one. Uh, let's run this ten times since we're doing a plus one so that we can add the number uh, nine into the system there we go 
perfect perfect and uh, we will need to delete the last element this element well we don't need to delete it we don't need this element anymore there we go so why don't we need that last element that's because we do not, by taking this up to 9 and adding 1 this thing is running from number 1 to the actual number 9 And there we have it. Let's run this again. Should end here, and I believe there was yeah, perfect. So there we go. We have all the numbers here, all the possibilities. Um, if everything went correctly, we have all the possibilities in here. Um, just to be sure, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This says there are no eights. Um, I would like to actually verify that by, let's see, if we take the array here that I already have and reverse it, so basically so I can find the max and create an indicator of that, we should, in essence, get no 8s over here. Let's go ahead and try that. Okay, uh, we did get one eight. That is that is actually the eight that we added from this right here. So we're subtracting it from here. So yes, this is correct. Perfect. Um, to make processing faster, this minus one can be inserted on the inside of the system of the for loop. And the reason I say that is because in here we're just dealing with one number. Yet out here we're dealing with the entire array. Now this is a tiny array, of course, so it's 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 not it's not really a big difference. So it does not matter as much. But for bigger or different projects, that might be an issue. So there we go. All right, perfect. So now that we have this array set up and everything's fine, let's see. All right, let me check what I need to do next. The next thing we need to do is to figure out uh, which type of each of those uh, we have. So to do that, I, I was going to fix this up, but I did not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to input the data that we get in from here and try to analyze it to figure out what we should do with everything. So uh, it appears that if we take this one and unbundle it, and un, uh, not unbundle, sorry, uh, index it one by one, and index the uh, these over here. Now this here is an array of one or two numbers, if you guys recall. Now the possibilities for all of them except for the full house, I'm going to add a star to it, and the two pair, those two have major uh, major possibilities. So number two and number six, those could be pretty much anything. So um, I'm going to ignore those two for now, or how about this? How about we just include the first number from those two for now, and then we'll figure out the rest. So what I would like to do is to get the, let's see, I'm confusing myself here. All right, so these come in one by one. This is going to process a total of nine times. Each time is going to give us one of those. And then each time we get one of those, I would like it to be inserted into a 2D array. So we're going to do this nine times, uh, depending on what each one of those is. So there's a thousand options, right, um, <clears throat> that are going to come in. Now, an option is going to come in. And it's going to have the numbers 0 from here. And it's going to come in with the numbers 0 through 9. Uh, depending on which one of these it is, we shall take this and insert it into its uh, wherever it needs to go. So if it comes in and it has 0 to 9 and it is 
let's say not two and not six how about that so let's go ahead and add a small uh, a small setting here that is based on this which basically will run zero in default mode uh, and will run this can we make this a two can we make the cases here zero two six only I'm not actually sure we should be able to do that somehow oh, there we go so zero two and add the case after and six with the zero being our default so if anything comes in other than two or six because two or six are gonna be a special case what we need to do in all those other ones is take the value from this array um, we're going to index this array we know that the number is only on the first one right so two and six have two an array of two numbers while this one only has one number so if we take this single number and try to work with it alone then we should be able to figure out uh, <clears throat> sorry guys uh, I just noticed this and it gets really under my skin when there's some something that I can fix uh, especially when it's this simple and then I'm like oh why didn't I do that before <clears throat> so there we go and there we go just a little bit smaller okay so uh, looking at this we have this uh, zero case for everything but two and six and everything but two and six will come in with one number that's this first element right here this is the number that we care about and I would like to insert insert or replace hmm I would like to basically I think what I would like to do is add that value at this position right so at the zero state what, what I would like to do is take the array uh, I'm going to index this array a big array and then I'm going to come back and replace the array subset because what I end up doing is taking this index and that's the index I'm going to use here and increment whatever was here by plus one and enter it into the new back into the uh, original array so there we go so get an array get it through here come all the way out here let's do a shift register and let's bring this back in here there we go um, the initial constant here should be simply should simply be an array constant with I'm j I just want to put a normal number in there a numeric normal numeric constant there we go and then once this is done I would like to create an indicator of the results uh, in all other cases I will do nothing for the time being uh, let's see what we're gonna get out of this I'm not actually sure so it created nothing I think it created nothing because of that go ahead and initialize this again okay there's only one zero alright so the problem is gonna be here we're going to have to create our own array so I'm gonna initialize a new array that goes in here the array will have the element 0 everywhere and the array size will be 13 or 12 13 and let's see what comes out uh, let us go ahead and process this only once or twice 0 1 let's let's process it twice so that we get the result of this four of a kind. So let's see what this, how many of these four of a kinds can there be? Run. There's only one, so we should only get one number up here. 
if this worked. There it is. Which means there is a four of a kind that has a uh, value of whatever this third one is. Uh, queen. So four of a kind of a queen. Um, looking at this here, I think that's not true. That could be the value of two here. Only one person can get it. That could be a real two. Uh, let's go ahead and try. A th let's try a queen. Let's see what a queen would look like. So we have two queens, and let's run it. There we go. A queen is over here now. Okay. Therefore, what this tells me is that this is doing zero, one, two, and then all the way up to fourteen which means we're gonna have to have an array of 15 numbers contrary to what I believed so this is the there's one four of a kind and that four of a kind is for the queen perfect let's see now the full house is a special case it's not gonna run let's go all the way to straight so we have zero one or one two three four five so let's run this five times because the fifth time that this runs this should show us what the straight is. Let's see what a straight is. Okay, so straight, I'm only getting four numbers for the straight. Why is that? There's 32 here. What does that mean, guys? So, um, a straight should run the default zero because the number that is coming out of here, let us go ahead and see what that number is. That number should be number seven. How are we getting a seven? Oh, oh, you guys know what? I just realized this is what, what I was doing is actually wrong. I'm gonna run the whole thing. Okay, so this is running, I just realized this is running 1000 times trying to figure out each time what it finds and then whatever it finds is being sent out. So if I actually run it for the full length we should this is all we get this is very peculiar I'm, I'm, I'm very baffled here I'm not sure what we are getting out of this um, I would like to see what one of these looks like not this one, this one let's see what does this array represent So this means that this is a 7, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so it's a 1 pair of 12. What is the value of the 12? 12 is a queen, so there's a pair of queens. Somebody has a pair of queens. Um, oh, this is an interesting thought, guys. We could create a system that would pretty much eliminate the table odds only, right? So, so far, we tried to figure out what is uh, on the table. We'd never tried to figure out what is only on the table. We could do that as well. That is a very interesting thought. We can actually add that all the way back. Uh, let's see, before the analysis, all the way back here, all possible hand combos, we can add a zero hand combo. So we should add a zero hand combo, which basically means table only. Right, so zero hand combo is table only. And we'll we'll experiment with that later on. Let's come back here and try to figure this out. Um, let's see. So the last one is a seven, which basically means what I would like it to do is to take this number, index this number. Ah, okay. So it's indexing them all on top of each other here. That is, that is the issue. We should probably index the... Alright, so we should index not the value, but this right there. That's what we should index. So we index the seventh. Hmm. Confusing, huh? Okay, if we create an array of 15 by 9,
15 by 9 so that we have this entire array. We index this first of all. We index the row from 0 to 9, the row that we want. This is the this should probably be 9 by 15. Right? So we index the row that we want. Then once we index that, we have to probably re-index. Let's do that. Okay, so we index the subarray that we get to add a plus one to that at wherever this tells us to do. Then we need to reinsert that into index new element, yes. And then reinsert that array back into, oh no, from this, add this row into here, and the new element should be whatever we took out from there. All right, let's try this. Create indicator. I'm not sure if it should be 915 or 159, but let's go ahead and see what we're going to get. Perfect. 915. That's what we wanted. That's what I want. So I'm going to make this a little smaller just so that we can see everything. There we go. This is 9 by 15. I'm, I'm assuming this is 9 by 15. Alright, so let me get rid of this for now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15. Yes. So what I was expecting is to get 544 numbers into this, but it seems that that did not occur. I'm not sure why that is. If we take these are being broken apart into singles in the zero default case. So in the this could only be happening in the zero case where we have a straight flush, but there is no straight flush. We should have one four of a kind. Full house is being skipped, flush is being skipped. We should have a straight three of a kind. There we go, straight then the three of a kind, then the one pair. So this is not entirely non-functional. We are getting something of what we want, but just not exactly what we want. So we're taking this row, breaking it apart, then we're taking that row, and then adding one to that point, then running it back in, where it is updating the original uh, place we removed, from the row. So the row has been added. Let's make sure this is a replace. Yes. And this is a replace. Yes. So it's definitely replacing this. And then that array is going through and coming back for the next run. So next time, if we get the same number, we're doing the same process again. And we keep doing that for however long we need to. Now this here, ah, let's see, what is this indicator? I'm curious if this is a thousand values or not, or is it just nine values? No, nope, that is all the values. So this is working properly. We need to find our problem. The problem, I believe, is going to be, this should run a thousand times. This is, so in, in essence, no matter what, this should be occurring. Um, since 2 and 6 are undefined, for the time being, I'm going to remove the case structure, just so that we can see if this would actually affect the results. If it does, then no it does not it simply added a one to where those are um, also looking at this I can see the one to there's a one to one ratio here you see that it's going down this specific line which means which means that what is wrong is our 
perhaps the index, the way we have the indexes. Ah, here it is. This is the wrong coin. This is using the wrong index. It should use this index right here. Ah, ha, ha. there we go. This should fix our problem. Let's check it. Bam. We have all the possibilities right here. So you can see there's only one here. Uh, there's not the full house is being missed. The straight, there's only two types of straights that are possible. So uh, we must keep in mind that this is going in the opposite direction. So this is our ace, king, queen. So there's a four of a kind, a chance to get a four of a kind. There's a chance to get a three of a kind. And basically everybody's going to have a one pair. So we're going to have to uh, fix this problem. And then we look at here. We have 16 of the straights. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do this. There we go. So then now we can see. So straight, we have 16 straights that can go either or. Uh, one of them can go either up to, let's see, ace, king, queen, jack, 10, 9, 8, or 7. So they go up to 8 or up to 7. And by looking at these, we have 4, 5. So either you have, there's 4, 5, 7 here. So you definitely need the 6. You either have 2 and 3, which gives you nothing. You either have 3 and 6 or 6 and 8, basically. And that means that mean only 16 people can get either this or this. Now, in this specific scenario, we still have the full house, which has not been interpreted, and our two pair, which has not been interpreted. And the reason that is, is because the full house and the two pair are pretty tricky. Because the full house will include uh, a three of a kind and a two of a kind, and we don't know uh, how to interpret that data here. What I think I would like to do is create... There will need to be one of these. Full house is going to need two of those, basically, to interpret its data. Because a full house can either be... Uh, can either be in one number, the three of a kind is in one, and the two of a kind is in another. And the two pair is going to have a two and a two. So those need to be interpreted separately. I'm sorry if I'm confusing you guys in any way. Um, definitely not my intention. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with the two of a kind. So for the two of a kind, what I will do is take the 15 and make it a 30 and I believe we can go ahead and perform almost the same task with very minor differences and I will show you guys what the differences will be so I'm gonna uh, duplicate this case so that and I'm gonna delete my number two case I'm gonna delete the sixth case so in my zero and then in my can we do two or six is that an option I'm not sure if that actually works I believe that should work so when this comes in what I would like it to do is we know there's two numbers right and the first number I'd like it to be inserted to wherever this says to go but also before replacing it back into the array uh, index this point I would like to index another point and that point will be whatever this is plus 15 this plus 15 and go in here and give me that and obviously add one to it and then reinsert it wherever this plus 15 is and send it on its way. 
I believe this would basically put the first number and the second number in here. And then we can go ahead and analyze this and interpret it later on. So now I just doubled the length here. And let's run this. There we go. Now what we have here is our full house and our two pairs. So most of our two pairs have a queen in them. 309. Someone can have six people, six chances of having a pair of aces uh, as well as a pair of something else. Um, now, it is true that depending what and what makes a difference, right? So it makes a difference if you have a pair of if you have a pair of uh, aces and a pair of queens, for example, or if you have a pair of aces and a pair of something else. That is definitely something that does matter and should be considered, but but thinking about this further. I believe that it's asking too much, right? I'm asking too much detail out of this. So I can clearly see if we split this in half. I'm, I'm hope, I hope you guys can see this. So we have 0, 1, 2, a pair of 2s, a pair of 3s. Uh, 36 times someone had a pair of 4 with another pair, right? So this is a tricky thing. So when you only have one pair, in this case, it's only a queen. That's the only pair because everybody has that one pair. For example, if I were to put the queen as a king, as an ace in this example, and run this, all this data has changed. Many people only have a high card. The people that do have a two pair, which is this row right here, I can't highlight the whole row, seem to have uh, 30 of them have an ace with something else. So this is the highest possible uh, pair for the two pair. Um, so people could also have, for example, two queens with something else. But the highest they can get is an ace with something else. Anyway, uh, irrelevant. I'm going to end this episode here. And next episode we shall further interpret this data and try to get it in a more, uh, in a simpler way for analysis, for, for basically understanding what's going on. By the way, in this combo that we have here, uh, it seems that what we have, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we have a 3 of a kind. Is it a 3 of a kind or is it a straight? Let's see, what do we have? We have 4, 4, 4. Yeah, we have a 3 of a kind. So. There's only 13 people that can have that. There's about 48 people that can have a straight from this. So a straight is still higher than what we do have. But then when you come here and look at the three of a kind, which is the one, two, three, fourth one from the bottom, this one, you will notice what is the chance of someone having a three of a kind and the straights up to what. So straights can go, in this case, since we added the ace, we added another possibility for a straight. Anyway. We shall get back into this, uh, I guess, later on. Uh, I will see you guys next episode. Bye.